On this edition of The Real Estate Show, one of the most open, open houses you'll ever see. Visit a brand new development celebrating every step from start to finish. We also have some great news for the market. We'll take a pulse check on what's selling. All that plus more for buyers, sellers and dreamers. Hi everyone, I'm April Cummings. We begin with real estate news. Cayman saw a 45% increase in real estate transactions in the first half of 2014. And it looks like consumer confidence may be the driving factor. 317 sales have been closed as of June 30th. That's 99 more than the first six months of 2013. And this year's sales amounted to $190 million. That's almost 20% more than last year's stats for the same time period. Cereba President Michael Day says the figures are a good sign for the industry and for the government. Consumer confidence does seem to be coming back and people want to live here. People are buying, people are selling, people are upgrading. It's good for the government, stamp duty figures, and we've got watercolors that Remax have been pushing. That should be closing in the next month, which will be a good windfall for the government. Um, lots going on, and it's very positive. Mr. Day says though the summer months are traditionally slow, he hopes the market continues to sizzle. As of July 7th, there were more than 2,000 properties on the market with a combined value of around $1.8 billion. Construction is in the final stages for what's on track to be one of Cayman's most energy efficient buildings. Crews broke ground last December. Cayman 27's Joe Avery gives us our first look inside 18 Forum Lane. It took more than 100 workers and 180,000 man hours to get 18 Forum Lane off the ground. So these guys are working on the window frames right now. They're prefabricating the frames. They're caulking them here in place. Kamana Bay's newest building is also one of the Caribbean's most energy efficient, on track to be gold lead certified upon completion, an award given to the greenest of buildings. It is extremely efficient from an exterior envelope standpoint. The installation on the roof, the glazing, uh, very, very energy efficient. The Tenants will have a savings of roughly a minimum of 20 percent um, when the building opens due to the fact that we have a large solar array, a 100 kilowatt solar array on the roof of the building. Sloan ruling with Dart Realty says the building was built on spec before a single square foot was even leased. We had a feeling that if you build it, they will come in essence, and we haven't been disappointed. She says 26,000 square feet have been leased so far, including the entire fourth floor. The hope is that when the building is completed in January of or February of 2015, um, that we will have another 10 or 15,000 square foot square feet committed. Street level features storefronts placed on an angle to catch shoppers eyes. When you look down the street, you're going to be able to see the storefront displays and be drawn into the retail units. Designers even incorporating sun shading panels inspired by classic Caymanian cottages. And just keeping the, uh, the sun off of the glass and glazing throughout the day really helps the efficiency of the building. Building what they hope is the gold standard for future green building projects. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. 18 Forum Lane should be open next February or March. The highest rated LEED certified building in Cayman right now is the Government Administration Building, which has LEED silver status. Tourism counselor Joey Hughes says he believes stayover visitors will continue to increase by more than 5%. This after March recorded a thousand more air arrivals than the year before. Around 44,000 people landed at Owen Roberts International Airport that month. Overall, our numbers are up. We have some surprises. We see Europe, um, you know, have showing a large increase, and we, show, we see Canada showing a large increase. And our seats are up, up for about 30,000 um, passengers over the last several months, with the um, increased gateways from JetBlue and Delta, and. From all indications, we see more gateways opening up later this year, and we anticipate the same sort of numbers next year, the same sort of growth of 5 to 7% growth um, next year, year over year. So this is fantastic news. Mr. Hughes says he expects the increased growth to continue over the next 5 to 10 years. A luxury condo complex holds an open house with a difference, giving potential buyers an X-ray view of what lies ahead. Cayman 27's Paul Kennedy has more. We all know what an open house is, but these properties on the market take it to a whole new level. We really wanted to um, show the uh, the architecture of the building. Um, you know, being an island and being you know given the circumstances of of certain weather patterns and some, somewhat, I think people appreciate um, to see what really has gone into the building. And it's all um, you know the latest technology has been used with insulated forms and. 
you know, the, the engineering in here is second to none. So it might not look very pretty right now, but it will give potential buyers an X-ray view of their investment. We wanted to basically showcase some um, kind of under the hood. And once you pop the bonnet, everything's there for all to see. There's, you know, having an open open house like this, we really are not hiding anything. Right. You know, you get to see the concrete, you know, and then follow the progression as it goes. The bare necessities maybe, but visitors to the open house liked what they saw. Just the location is fantastic on the canal with the breezes. It's just a beautiful place. The view is stunning, the layout and the construction is great too. Developers do stress the homes will look a lot different when they're finished. Paul Kennedy came in 27. Prices start at 799,000 US dollars for a two bedroom, rising to 1.8 million for a penthouse. Well, we live on an island paradise, that's for sure. The Cayman Islands has some of the most beautiful waters in the Caribbean. Just ahead, the waterfront lifestyle. We'll visit the annual Harbor House Marina Boat Show. You're watching the Cayman Real Estate Show. Don't forget, you can see all the properties we feature online anytime at CaymanRealEstateChannel.com. We'll be right back. Blue water, blue sky, and white sand dominate your view from the extended lanai in this immaculate three-bedroom, three-bath condo overlooking beautiful Seven Mile Beach in Grand Cayman. Oceanfront living at the Meridian is elegant, comfortable, and convenient with luxurious amenities. This handsomely appointed unit brings the soothing palette of the Caribbean Sea indoors. The living area, screened veranda, and the master suite overlook the garden pool, offering stunning views. Property amenities include underground parking, daily housekeeping, and elevator access. Within easy walking distance, find fine dining, luxurious shopping, entertainment, and essential services such as grocery, pharmacy, and banking. For location, style, and comfort, the Meridian is preeminent among beachfront properties in the Cayman Islands. Nestled in the prestigious residential neighborhood of Savannah Acres, this beautifully furnished and well-maintained home is priced to sell. Located on a corner lot, the home is elevated over 11 feet above sea level to ensure you always stay high and dry. The front yard is fully landscaped with natural rock and surrounded by lush flowers and plants. This breathtaking three-bedroom house has been designed to an extremely high standard and has a very modern feel. The kitchen is bright and open, featuring Corian countertops and top-of-the-line appliances. The dining area is elegant and spacious, with easy access to the living area. The master bedroom has a wonderfully cozy yet roomy appeal. In the bathroom, you'll find high-end fixtures and a jacuzzi for your relaxing pleasure. Call Harriet today for a closer look. This beauty is a must-see. SunCloud is a premier beachfront residence along Grand Cayman's secluded North Shore in the delightful community of Cayman Kai. This estate features a majestic terrace overlooking 225 feet of shoreline with breathtaking views of the clear reef protected waters. The infinity edged pool merges gracefully against the ocean horizon and is accompanied by a relaxing hot tub. The exterior also features delightful balconies, providing attractive views of the expansive grounds. Steps carved elegantly right out of the coral reef, which lead to the sea, are impressive and entertaining. And the one-acre adjacent parcel that is included in the sale will give any buyer tons of options. The interior is as sweeping and spacious as the outside featuring breathtakingly high ceilings, slider doors, and windows abound, which are coupled with West Indian accented designer furniture. All this gives this spectacular estate a very chic and modern look. 
and just off the coral landing at sea, you'll find some incredible snorkeling experiences to offer your family and friends. Contact Jennifer, the Cayman Kai and Rum Point real estate expert to learn more. For most of us, our home is one of the most valuable things that we will ever own. In the event of a loss, would you be able to replace all of this without insurance? The Island Heritage Home Policy can help you prepare for the unexpected, but it's important to understand the consequences of underinsurance. Underinsurance is a condition found on many insurance policies. It basically means that a customer hasn't insured the true replacement value of the item insured. If in the event of a claim you haven't insured adequately, you could find yourself responsible for the percentage that you didn't cover. So we recommend that you have your house regularly evaluated by a qualified professional. You should also keep an up-to-date list of your contents to ensure that as your possessions grow, so does your sum insured. If you have any questions about underinsurance or any other policy condition, we welcome you to contact your Island Heritage underwriter. My name is Michael Joseph. I'm a Remax uh, real estate agent and I've been doing this for about 12 years. Hey, Michael. Nice, nice to see you. Thanks for coming down. I'm from Cayman, born and raised, and I've been involved with a lot of different projects. I've had over 400 uh, sales in those 12 years. Let's, let's go to the main view first. What I really focus my attention on when it comes to real estate is customer service. I really listen to my clients and customers and I hear what they need. There's a whole bunch of wisdom that I can provide. There's a lot of experience and knowledge that I'm able to hand over to clients. You've got the infinity pool, you've got the high elevation for yeah. the, uh, the seawall. I put a lot of pride in my efficiency and communication. A, because it's new. So you've got the latest technologies. I think it's very important to communicate with clients on a very regular basis. Share ideas, inform them if something's happening in the neighboring properties or that area or something that may be of interest to them. Um, whether buyers or sellers, you need to keep people informed. So from a square foot value, it makes yeah. a lot of sense yeah. uh, based on the comparables, yeah. particularly when we highlight age of building, strata sure. fees, exit strategy, you know, the rentability and yeah. sellability in the future. I like to think that I'm extremely efficient. I know that you've seen the floor plan before. I don't leave any stone unturned because I won't sleep well at night if I feel like I've not done enough of the research in a particular project or a particular client's needs. Oh, I thought Mummy and Daddy got the best room. No. Oh. My name is Michael Joseph. I work in real estate and I love what I do. I take it very seriously and I'd love to help you through the process. According to those in the know, living in Cayman is not complete unless you own a boat. At the annual boat show at Harbor House Marina, visitors were shown vessels of all shapes and sizes. Guests arrived from as early as 8 o'clock in the morning to see if they could afford their own piece of the Cayman dream. General Manager Jonathan Cuff says boating is probably the main leisure activity in Cayman. We live on an island. The water is obviously such an important part of life in Cayman. A boat allows you to go out on the weekend in the evening. You can go fishing wakeboarding, cruising to restaurants, Kamana Bay, Rum Point, Kaibo, um, snorkeling, Stingray City, diving. It just opens up a wealth of leisure activities that you can enjoy with your friends and family. Now in its 10th year, more than 100 people pass through the doors of the boat show. And what good is a boat without a home on the water? Here are some options you just might enjoy. The spacious open floor plan of this home takes maximum advantage of its waterfront location. Over 30 feet of sliding glass doors face expansive water views. It is located on a wide, protected sound, facing peaceful conservation land and the views never change. They are always gorgeous.
Gentle breezes and a fabulous aspect provide the perfect spot for relaxing on the large pool deck. Your privacy is assured, with no intrusion from beach walkers. No expense was spared. This home was updated with the highest quality finishes. Extensive renovations were completed in 2012 from top to bottom. Come check it out today. The beauty of this signature two-story home is that it is both understated and abundant in equal measure. The residence is a classic French provincial designed home providing luxury canal front estate living. The home is located on Yacht Drive and boasts proprietary ownership within the elite community of Vista del Mar. From here, you first begin to see the vastness of this 9,000 square foot residence. The design emphasis is clearly based around large open spaces and lots of natural light, creating a powerful connection to all the living areas. The residence has exceptional finishes, fixtures, and fittings encompassing coffee plantation hardwood floors, Egyptian stone floors, and Carrera marble bathrooms. There is lots of functional space, like the billiards room and a movie lounge. The living areas allow for smooth movement between kitchen, lounge, and dining area. Next, there is the 160-foot canal front with private marina slip, which is large enough to accommodate any vessel. From the dock, you can look back and truly appreciate the home's beauty and scale. Give Millen a call today for a closer look at this jewel. This stunning beachfront residence in the prominent community of South Sound has brilliant ocean reef views. The luxurious six-bedroom house offers the ultimate exclusive living experience. An airy two-story compound, the house encompasses a chef's dream gourmet kitchen with two large islets which lead to an oversized family dining and living area. The grand piano is just astounding and a great entertaining feature. This great sized family residence has a veranda which covers the entire width of the house. The expansive residence includes a large game area with a pool table for your personal enjoyment. You'll love the private movie theater dedicated space offering great entertainment options. There's even a personal space for your own live-in helper. Four of the six bedrooms enjoy oceanfront views of the sandy beachfront. Enjoy the brilliant outdoor views with an oversized pool and spa with direct access to the beach, which has amazing snorkeling options. The focal point of the backyard area is the incredible view, lush tropical plants, gentle ocean waves coming off the reef, all leading to your own private beach. This is absolutely faultless Caribbean living and truly one of Cayman's finest homes.
Coming up, tips to save you money on your electricity bill, plus a sneak peek inside some of Cayman's finest homes. For more on the properties we show you, visit us online at caymanrealestatechannel.com. At Island Heritage Insurance, everyone's super excited. To make it even easier to get great home and motor insurance, we're moving our customer care center to an amazing new space with ample parking and even gourmet coffee. All at Island Heritage House. So when it comes to getting great insurance, make it easy. Make it Island Heritage. Make it easy. Island Heritage. When it rains, it pours, but when it doesn't, your utility bill feels the pain. And we've certainly had some record-setting heat this summer in the Cayman Islands. For those of us who like to keep it cool, air conditioning certainly provides sweet relief, but it can also send energy bills through the roof. Cayman 27's Joe Avery talked to CUC to see how you can get the most from your energy dollar. This air con's humming to keep things cool inside, but chilling out can come at a price. Air conditioning is usually about 70% of your energy cost, and anything you can do to reduce that's where you're going to have the biggest impact. CUC's Sasha Tibbet says customers can save big money by only cooling rooms that need it. The best thing to do with air conditioners, number one, is you use them only when you need them in the spaces where you are. There's no point in cooling a room that you're not in. He says the term comfort means different things to different people, but using a fan may take some pressure off the AC. You can usually be get the same level of comfort with a fan on and the thermostat two degrees warmer, and you're using a lot less electricity when you're doing that. Mr. Tibbet says some customers may see savings on energy by upgrading their homes. Having uh, good quality windows that uh, reflect the heat out of the, out of the house instead of letting the sun, uh, the, the solar heat gain uh, come into the house, those are all things that can be done. The regular insulation that uh, we've been talking about for years uh, in the attic and the walls. He says there's no magic number of where to set the thermostat and that staying cool is a matter of personal preference. People sleep with the thermostat at a really low temperature and then they cover up with a nice thick warm blanket. Well, that's very comfortable, but it's also very expensive. So, I mean, it's all about decisions that we make in life. He says it's just a matter of how high you're willing to go. The higher you can keep your thermostat temperature, the less money you're going to spend on electricity. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. CUC tells us it's always happy to discuss common sense ways to save money on your power bills. There are also several companies on island that for a fee will do a detailed energy audit of your home. A truly beautiful property, luxuriously appointed, offering the finest in Cayman family living. This home sits on artfully manicured grounds and features a large solar heated pool, in-ground half-moon shaped spa, and spacious natural stone decking. Fenced and gated to ensure privacy, the beauty of this property rests in the details. State-of-the-art LED lighting has been provided in the kitchen and master bathroom. Paradigm surround sound is installed in the living room and upgraded window treatments can be found throughout the living spaces. Stone vanities with double under counter sinks have been constructed in the bathrooms. Book a viewing today and see what fine island family living can be in Cayman.
Rockery Point, a Salt Creek residence, embodies West Indian simplicity on the outside and classic Caribbean colonial luxury with all things modern on the inside. Set on a vibrantly lush pocket of this waterfront neighborhood, this home features over 4,400 square feet of living space. Notable features include full home automation, high-end appliances, stunning lighting features with intricate carpentry work. The incredible use of virtually every square inch of the house for effective storage is also quite notable, something that's often lacking in homes on the island. The four gorgeous bedrooms each have accompanying baths. The master suite is spacious and leads out to a secluded backyard in the pool. The master bath is roomy and even features a delightful sauna for relaxation at the end of the day. Every square inch was finished to the highest levels of excellence. Residents can choose from a game of tennis, playing with their own children in the park, jogging along any of the paths, boating, kayaking, or just walking around and enjoying the beauty of Salt Creek. While intimate in size, Salt Creek is one of the most comprehensive recreational communities in Grand Cayman, perfect for any lifestyle, and this beautiful home is nestled in the heart of it. Hi, I'm Kel. Let's talk. So you're buying a home. You have all your stars just about all ready in alignment. Everything's going great. You have your perfect location, the price negotiated, and the appraiser working out the value for the bank. But listen, did you remember to ask for a home inspection in your real estate contract? Most people wouldn't even buy a used car before really checking it out. So of course, you should check out your potential new home from top to bottom. After all, spending hundreds and thousands of dollars, and sometimes millions for some folks, without fully investigating a home, it just isn't smart. And what you really need is a full, complete home inspection. You don't need an MEP, an MRI, an SAT, or XYZ, or whatever else you want to call it. What you need is peace of mind. And the only way to get that is with a full, complete home inspection. And that's why we're talking a little bit about this today. I'm Kel at West Point Inspections. I am a U.S. licensed home inspector and general contractor, just like you would see on the HGTV shows. And I have over 15 years experience in the industry, both here in Cayman and in the U.S. And each month, I'll talk you through some home inspection know-how. And maybe, maybe, I'll even tell you a few nightmare stories of why you better inspect before you buy. So you're probably wondering, what does a home inspector actually inspect anyway? Well, the short answer is a lot. The long answer sort of looks like this. I am tired. Unlike most homes, this South Sound beachfront home, which is currently on the market, is in tip-top condition. Now afterwards, your inspector should be tired, as your typical home inspection takes about two to three hours. But you want your inspector looking a little tired anyway and looking at everything possible in order to help you discover the true condition of the home prior to purchasing. What good is it gonna do you if later you'd have to discover this, that, and the other thing after the fact? And remember, choose your home inspector just as cautiously as you chose your next potential home. Make sure they're professionally licensed home inspectors and have the experience and expertise that's required. On the next episode, we'll get into some actual home inspection stuff. And then afterwards, you can check your own home to see how it measures up. I'm Kel, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on the Cayman Real Estate Channel.
Just ahead on the Cayman Real Estate Show, a two-minute tip. Make sure your drains are clean and operational. This is an easy fix that you can take care of yourself. We'll have more just ahead. Your garden should be a place that you are proud to share with friends and family. Cayman Growers offers residential and commercial landscaping design, irrigation and installation services with the island's largest selection of plants, trees and Empire's Oishasad. We can transform your surroundings into an oasis. Our experienced and knowledgeable staff can turn your gardening ideas into a beautiful landscape reality. For all your residential and commercial landscaping and irrigation needs, call Cayman Growers, 323-0722. I'm Brandi Vanderbeek, licensed real estate broker. Don't wait until you go into escrow to take care of small repairs. There are some simple things that you can do right now before your home goes on the market. Don't overlook replacements. Replace those dirty filters. This is something that limits your airflow anyway, so you want to do this. It limits the flow from your AC and your heating. It is something that an inspector will definitely call out. Inspect your light bulbs. Make sure they're all there and that they're actually working. I have never had a buyer come to me and tell me that they want a really dark house. Everybody wants light and bright. They want openness, airy feeling. Light bulbs will help that in a room. Make repairs to the bathroom. This can be a simple, inexpensive fix. Regrout and recaulk the bathroom. Also, if you have a glass shower, make sure that you get the water stains off of that and that it is sparkling clean. It will really add a lot to the bathroom when buyers walk through and also a home inspector. Okay, let's go to toilet seats. If you have a wooden toilet seat that has been there for years or one of those padded toilet seats, get rid of them, go and buy a new toilet seat. It's a small cost and it will make a huge difference to a buyer. It's a good idea to fix any leaks and water problems before the home inspection occurs. Make sure your drains are clean and operational. This is an easy fix that you can take care of yourself. Fix it now or you'll definitely see it on the home inspection report. Make sure gates and latches are working properly. If they're not, fix them. So many times you can alleviate these problems with a little bit of money and save thousands of dollars. The goal is to minimize what a home inspector comes back with on the report. Remember, million dollar deals can fall apart over a few hundred dollars in repairs. Welcome to a wonderful luxury townhouse in one of the most peaceful neighborhoods in Grand Cayman. Just on the outskirts of South Sound, this spacious home is fully equipped with top-end designer furnishings in a contemporary and comfortable style. The kitchen features granite countertops with stainless steel appliances. Everything is bright and open with over 1,600 square feet of living space, plus a large green patio. The two large bedrooms feature walk-in closets and ensuite bathrooms. The well-run Strata is friendly to pets and has a lovely pool for you to cool off in or enjoy the ocean at Smith's Cove, which is moments away. The complex also provides access to tennis courts and a great gym to work out in. Everything is within a few miles to Georgetown. Delicious restaurants, Hurley's Shopping Center, and a sports center. This would make a great first home or investment property. The price has been recently reduced to $245,000. Call Rich Realty today to view at 949-9838.
As you enter this home, the cozy living room immediately embraces you. Leading down the hall are three spacious bedrooms. The large master bedroom is beautifully furnished, looks out onto the back garden, and includes its own ensuite bathroom. Stainless steel appliances and granite countertops come with an extremely well-appointed kitchen. The fourth bedroom has ample space and could easily be converted into a den or man cave. A great place to entertain and relax is the backyard, which has an expansive two-level deck. The yard even includes a great child's play area. This property is a must-see and perfect for a young family. Give Maria a call today for viewing. Thanks for watching. Check out our website at caymanrealestatechannel.com to visit these properties and watch fantastic HD video tours of Cayman's finest homes. You can also watch us on Westar Cable Channel 37 or Channel 3 if you're a Fuse customer.